Perpetual Mommy here today to do a bag review for all of you. This is my Jujube B40 in the olive rose color and I love this color bag you guys. Like this bag came out I don't know a couple months ago now is when the olive rose trunk show was that I went to and stood in line for and I love green you guys. Green, purple, and pink are my favorite colors so when Jujube launched the olive rose bags I knew I had to have one and I thought you know what I'm gonna get it in the sporty because all the sporties that I have right now are all Toki Doki print. So this is my only non-Toki sporty. So it's really nice to have one that's more kind of adult, more grown up for when I want that. And I'm gonna tell you guys, we live in California and it's been more than 100 degrees, like triple digit heat for three weeks now. So we are literally on the third week of triple digit heat every day. And so I've been wanting to carry a backpack that's been really lightweight and it's not gonna make me any hotter than I already am because I already opened the front door and decided I don't wanna go, I don't wanna go outside, right? You guys ever have that where you open the door and you're like, nope, I can't do it, I can't, I can't get out. Like, I'm gonna tell you guys, we went to the wild animal park two weekends ago and I parked the car, I turned the car off, I opened the door and I closed the door. I looked at my husband, I said, I can't, <laughs> I can't get out of the car. It's too hot, like it's physically too hot, I can't do it, I don't wanna do it, I've changed my mind. Now we did go, we did wander around, we had a great time, but I had that moment of, I, I can't do this, it's way too hot. So that being said, I have been carrying the B Sporty in the Olive Rose because it is a lighter weight material. But I want you guys to be able to get a close up here of this fabric. It's really, really nice. And for those of you who are familiar with Jujube, the Olive Rose fabric is like the fabric that's on the Chrome bag, so it's a really lightweight material. So those of you who have Tokidoki bag fabric, um, you know that that's a thicker, more coated kind of material. Well, this is a really nice, thin, like scrunchy, you know, super pliable material, which makes it really lightweight. It's super lightweight and makes it not that hot when you have it on your body. So it makes a great kind of backpack wear because it does not overheat you, which is what I need right now. Not to mention the fact that it's green and it's stunning. So I'm, I'm really a silver girl, you guys. I'm not a gold girl. I'm not into gold very much, but I do love rose gold, which is very ironic. So I do love the rose gold metal hardware on this bag as well. Just like with every GGB bag, beautiful metal zippers and hardware, really high quality, nice and smooth, super sturdy, love it. So let's go ahead and talk about this bag on the outside the way that I normally do and then we'll go ahead and we'll jump up into the inside on how I have the bag packed up. Now for those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. Those of you who've been here before, welcome back. I do pack for a two-year-old and a four-year-old. Both of my girls are completely potty trained. So my four-year-old's been potty trained for a really, really long time. My two-year-old's now been potty trained, fully potty trained for about three months. So we are, we are on the other side of diapers. So this bag is packed for two potty trained toddlers and 100 plus degrees. <laughs> so again, let's go ahead and talk about the outside of the bag. So the B Sporty has a nice small zippered pocket right here on the front. You have one mommy pocket right here with one zipper. Now for those of you familiar with Jujube, some of the mommy pockets have two zippers and some have one. This mommy pocket does have one zipper to open it. You do have two insulated bottle pockets, one on either side of the bag, very nice. Then on the back you have one large slip pocket and you have a zippered tech or media pocket. You have a fabulous grab handle. And there's your other bottle pocket. And then obviously the main interior of the bag. Now the B Sporty can be worn as a backpack and it can be worn messenger style. So the back back here, you do have two backpack straps that are removable. They're a nice swivel hardware. And these are seatbelt type straps. Now on a lot of my sporties, I have switched out the straps and put on BFF straps on the back of the bags. But because this material is so lightweight, I actually find this fairly comfortable. So I haven't switched these out yet. So I'm not minding the seatbelt straps on this material sporty. Now this bag also comes with a full length messenger strap so you can wear this bag over the shoulder or crossbody. I obviously haven't used this one yet because I do prefer my backpack bags in backpack mode almost all of the time. And then I'm just gonna show you guys right now because I have it right here when we're talking about the material. The Sporties come with a light change pad. Now what that means is that it's not padded in any way, but it is very light and pliable. I was talking about that material, you guys, like it's super thin. Let me go ahead and let you guys get a shot of this. So it's super thin and it's kind of like a weaved pattern. It's textured. And then you can see what the print on the inside looks like. So people were calling this like a mushroom color it's a very light kind of a brown mushroom color. And I don't know if it's gonna pick up, but you do have some swirls in here as far as the design goes. 
So now I don't use change pads because my girls are older. If I use them, I use them for custom pieces, but I did want to make sure that you guys were able to see that. So let's go ahead and talk about how I have this bag packed up. So right here on the front, you have a small zipper pocket. I, po I pack this pocket different almost every day, just depending on what we're doing. But right now what I found that I'm liking is keeping a disposable public toilet seat cover here because I do have the two-year-old and the four-year-old. I like to be able to grab this and go, especially for the two-year-old because she doesn't give us a lot of notice sometimes when she has to go potty. Now this is your mommy pocket right here. Now the mommy pocket on the Sporty does have one zipper. So some of the mommy pockets on the GGB bags do have two zippers. The mommy pocket on the B Sporty only has one. And I wanna go ahead and give you a shot of what this mommy pocket looks like packed up. So standing right here, I just have a hand lotion. And then I also have a travel sized um, this is, I always say this wrong, super goop. I always want to say sponge goop. It's a super goop uh, sunscreen mousse. And then this is a Simply Gilded pouch. So it came with, and I want to say it's the April Simply Gilded subscription box for those of you who are planner people. But in here I have my mommy essentials. I have some makeup. I have a Jujube coin purse and the Don't Tell Sweet Shop print. That's migraine medication and contacts and that kind of stuff. So these are all kind of my mommy goodies but it has rose gold hardware, so I just thought that looked really cute with the bag. And that's all I had in that part right there. Then there is a zippered compartment right here. And in this zipper compartment, I just have a quick grab lip gloss. Turning the bag around to the side, I wanted to go ahead and show you guys, I do have a Passy Pot attached here. And I get this question all the time. My children are no longer using passies or my children don't use passies. What can I use my passy pod for? Now, obviously my girls are two and four. They are long past the passy, Mimi, you know, stage. So I keep hair stuff in mine a lot of times. And I do that because my girls both have really long hair and we're out busy all the time. And I can't tell you how many times they lose the hair tire and need to fix something. So I have a poppable hairbrush right here. And then here I have some extra hair clips and hair elastics. So it's just a really nice, easy place to keep it. Now, sometimes I keep this inside the bag. Right now I'm keeping it on the outside, but that's a nice use for the passy pods. And then this is one of your insulated bottle pockets. Now, my girls are two and four, and you're about to see the Munchkin 360 cups. Now I did this for a couple reasons. One is that my kids a lot of times use the thermos Funtainers, and I know a lot of you are familiar with the Funtainers. Funtainers are smaller than these, so I wanted you guys to be able to see what a full size cup looks like that's bigger than a Funtainer inside these pockets. So you can see how much more room you have. The other reason I wanted to show you guys these is that because my girls are two and four, a lot of times when we're out, I want an insulated cup that they can actually drink out of. So what you can do with these is just totally unscrew the top. So just take off the whole sippy part, the, this whole orange sippy part and let them drink out of it like a standard cup. So I really do like these, especially in the hot weather, and they come with this nice little spill-proof pop. Just as an aside. So on the back side of the bag, you do have that media pocket up here. I don't have anything in here, but that is where I keep my cell phone. And then in this back pocket, this is where your change pad comes in this back slip pocket. But right now I just have a wipe pouch 30 in the Donatella print. And I like to keep water wipes in here for the girls. And I like them to be easily accessible, easy to wipe hands, faces. I don't have to dig through the bag to get them. They're just right there on the back side of the pocket, back side of the bag. Now moving on to this side of the bag. This is one of my favorite fobs. It was made by my friend Andrea, who owns Fobs by Andrea, and it was given to me by Amber, who owns a Sensible Mama. She's one of my dear friends. And even though it's not rose gold hardware, I just thought that the gems looked really pretty with the olive rose bag. And in this bottle pocket, I have another Munchkin 360. Now, the bag does have a magnetic closure flap right here, and then the main compartment of the bag opens with one zipper. And I want to go ahead and open this up wide so you can see what it looks like all packed up before I take anything out. So this material is really floppy, you guys. There's not a lot of like structure to it. So as I pull things out, you are going to notice the bag's going to start to sag, and that again is because the olive rose fabric is really floppy and compressible, which I, again, I love. So right here on top, I do have a custom Jujube piece, and this is in the Bubble Trouble print. 
and in here you guys I have old school where are my 80s kids at because I have old school cabbage patch kid figurines and I had to wait for my girls to be able to play with these until they were old enough that they weren't going to put them in their mouths because heaven help me they are not PVC free plastic and for some reason we have a random hippo I'm not sure why the hippo's in there with the cabbage patch but I have those and I always switch out the little handheld things for my girls because a lot of times they like to just hold something in their hands they're happy just to hold something so they pick one and then they just hold on to it now this is what the bag looks like now now right here on top, you guys, this is one of my favorite new pieces. Now you guys all know that Amber, the Sensible Mama, is one of my very dear friends. So I always try to support her shop as much as I can because not only is she a fabulous person and a, like the shop is incredible, the customer service is incredible, but she's a dear friend of mine. But she did a collaboration with Techni Woven. Now Techni Woven typically makes ring slings and wraps and baby carriers and that kind of thing, abuhimos. But they also did some custom kind of pouches and stuff with some pieces and she did it with her logo so this is the sensible mama logo and this is the techni woven fabric collaboration fabric and this is the pouch that i ordered from her and it's just so lovely so it's got a snap so i can snap it on whatever i want and in here i keep one change of clothes and i typically keep one change of clothes because both my girls are potty trained but i want to always have one especially for the two-year-old my four-year-old has not had an accident in years so I do have one outfit though, just in case it would fit either girl. So I have a pair of undies, a pair of shorts, and one of the cutest little tops you guys. It's a little Wonder Woman top, look at this, with like little flop wings in the back. So cute, and those fit great in there. But I wanted to give you guys a shot. For any of you who are interested in the Techni Woven stuff, the Techni Woven collaboration items with the Sensible Mama, and all of the Sensible Mama information I will link below in the description box for anybody who's interested in checking those things out. Now this is what the bag looks like. So sitting right underneath that, I did have a Kipling pouch. And I cannot offhand remember the name of this Kipling pouch. If I can find it, I will insert it right along here <laughs> so that you guys can know. But this is a divided pouch. So the back half is kind of like potty training stuff and the front half is restaurant stuff. So back here in this section right here, I do have a couple of disposable bibs because my girls are gonna eat something messy, I will put a bib on them. And then a couple of the table topper mats if we were to end up somewhere where they were gonna eat and the surface wasn't real clean. And then on this side here is my potty training section. So here I have a couple of extremely large uh, public toilet seat covers and then one of the smaller summer infant disposable public toilet seat covers. And then I keep an extra large disposable change pad. So if I did have to change one of the girls' clothes, I could put this on the floor, change them on top of it, and then throw this out when we were done. So just guys can get an idea of what the inside of this little bag looks like right here. And then back here, there is a zippered compartment. And in this zippered compartment, I just have some disposable bags. Now the only thing left standing free in the center of the bag is a snack tower. Just standing alongside of all those items right there. Now there is a back pocket right here. Like if you guys can see that there's a mesh pocket. This is a custom play pack case. It was made by Christy McCoy who owns Crafting After Dark. And I will link her information as well in the description box below. And I normally carry twistable pencils with us, but I have those packed in our weekend bag. So I didn't want to take them out just for the purpose of this video. So this is how this one's actually packed up. I do have a couple of play pack, small play pack cases, the mini ones here on this side that have pens in them. And then I have a couple of play pack cases with crayons and some plain white paper stuffed in there on this side. And the reason that they're like this still inside the foil is because it is so hot here, you guys. Even with this on my back, I'm afraid the crayons are gonna melt. So I don't wanna have anything free and loose, which is why I do recommend if you live in California, get the twistable pencils because they don't melt. Now you do have a zippered compartment right here. And then here's where I'm keeping my wallet. And this is in the Rosie Posey print. And because I did not mention it, this, this is Rosie Posey as well. So both of these prints are by Jujube and it's called Rosie Posey. And this is my wallet. And in here I do have an NCO coin purse for cash and coins. And then two B charge that have my insurance cards and my credit cards in them. And I'm gonna turn the bag around so hopefully you have a better view of these pockets. So hopefully you guys can see that. So the back pocket 
is a mesh pocket that's where the play pack case came out of now on the front on this side here you have two smaller elasticized mesh pockets on the front one right here I do have a prepara kit medical kit and for those of you who watched my videos you've heard me talk about this it's a pretty good kit I did add a bunch of stuff to it to make it more personal and make it feel more complete for me, especially in the summertime months. Um, main thing that I would change about this is I wouldn't have Velcro on it because I don't like putting Velcro in my bags. Now on the other side here, the very last thing that I have right here are sunglasses. Sunglasses are a must for me, you guys. I suffer from chronic migraines like two to three times a week and bright light is one of my huge triggers. So I have my brand new Top Fox Future Wife sunglasses. I got these from Amber at the Sensible Mama as well, but I love these, you guys. They are super dark. They block out all the light and they don't cut into my peripheral vision. And they have a molded nose piece. I get a lot of questions when I talk about these and I will tell you guys the only drawback to these that some of you may not even find a drawback you might like is that they're really lightweight. I like some heft to my glasses and these weigh like nothing. They're super, super light, but I do know a lot of people like my mother who loves to have light glasses. So it's just personal preference, but if you suffer from migraines, you might want to check these out because they do block out all the light. And again, these are the Future Wife by Top Fox. I'm going to stand this up so you guys can see what's going to happen to this bag. Now that it's empty, it's just gonna wanna like, it just wants to like crumple. It's so soft and squishy. Like it's literally, it's the squishiest bag, which actually would make it great for travel as well. Like if you were to take, you know, let's say a be right back or be prepared onto an airplane with more structured fabric, but when you got to your destination, you wanted to be have a floppier bag, you could put this inside one of those other bags, fold it up really compact. It wouldn't take up any room. And then when you got to your destination, you'd have a lighter bag to carry, which is something that I always keep in mind with this bag too. If we're gonna do something over the summer, if we're gonna travel, anything like that, take this with me so that I have a lighter bag once I reach my destination, but not so much maybe for the actual travel there. Well, that's it for me, you guys. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. If you like what I'm doing, please go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. I'll talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.